Hey folks, radar has gone quiet across the valley tonight after being a little busy for a time late this afternoon into early this evening, but the showers that were out there have since moved out and skies are trying to clear out. Now let's watch future track, see what it suggests for overnight. Just patchy clouds, that's about it. There could be a brief shower overnight, but tomorrow the chance goes up for showers, perhaps even a thunderstorm. You see some green showing up. There's a little yellow and orange embedded within that. And then we do it again on Saturday. Scattered showers and thunder showers again, although maybe not quite as active. And then Sunday looks like there still could be some more activity around, although again, not quite as active as tomorrow. So scattered showers each of the next few days, the best chance probably tomorrow. Now future track just updating now a little while ago it was showing big time rain in parts of the valley tomorrow. Now it's backed off from that, but it does suggest that most people get something and there could be isolated totals of an inch or more. And then we watch into Saturday and again you see the numbers kind of go up a little bit where everybody gets in on the act and then a lot of places end up with one to two inches and some places end up with almost nothing. But it's going to be again a scattering of showers and thunderstorms between now and the end of the weekend. We're going 60% tomorrow, 40 on Saturday and then 30 on Sunday. Temperature wise, the normal is 95. We won't make it tomorrow because of the clouds, nor will we make it on Saturday. Even Sunday, I don't think we'll make it back. About 93 for your high on Sunday afternoon. Here's a look at our current temperatures 85 right now in McAllen, 80 in Harlingen, 83 in Port Isabel at this hour. Overnight tonight, we bottom out in the upper 70s. That's about it. Warm and humid. And then tomorrow, not as hot as normal. Again, the normal high is 95, and most of us won't get close to that because of the clouds and the showers. Even notice the colors here, kind of this lighter shade of orange indicates slight, slightly cooler temperatures across the region than what we would normally see. Here's the culprit. This stuff going through Houston tonight, it's a little upper disturbance. It's backing back to the southwest, and like the stuff over the last couple of days, a bulk of this may stay to the north of us, but still, at least some of that moisture gets caught up, and we end up with a little bit of action down here. That goes for tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday as well. By Sunday, that thing pulls away. More moisture in the southeast Texas coastline, but not much else in our direction. So our shot is kind of a one shot deal. Take a look out here. We do have a tropical storm now named Barrel right now at 10.4 and 44. Winds are 65. Hurricane Center takes it up to hurricane strength now by tomorrow night. But as it goes westward, it's down in the alley. And that's the last advisory right there because it's expected to go under some serious shear at that point. Once you get under the shear, it dies. So don't think it'll even make it into the Caribbean. At the coast here, east southeasterly winds, a light chop on the bay. UV is very high. Isolated storms tomorrow. High temperature around 87 at the coast. So tonight, mostly cloudy with an isolated shower, but most areas are dry. Tomorrow, about a 60% chance for a shower thunderstorm. The high tomorrow should be 90 degrees. We're back to 91 Saturday, 93 Sunday, and then next week closer to normal. But really, I can't rule out a shower any day of the forecast period. Just the best chance comes tomorrow. The most widespread activity tomorrow on Saturday, and then it begins to kind of taper off by Sunday and quieter. Not quiet, but quieter next week. So a wet weekend. Uh, scattered showers are not enough to ruin all your plans, but there'll still be at least some rain around each day. Excellent. Enjoy. All right. That's weather, now sports.